This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings salutation viewers, Voldemar back here with more Sayuki, Journey West. In the last episode, we fought the Rat Man and learned about the human race, and decided to go back to the end to take the alternate route and see if we run into his wife on the way as well. And I made the decision to spend some quality time with Shu Riorin, but what does the situation look like if you choose Lady Kika instead? Let us rewind time for just a few seconds just to see. It's nothing really that big, but uh, I thought I'd show you folks since I saved it right before it anyway. So let's see how Lady Kika and Sanzo react to each other when they're by themselves. Lady Kika, will you stay? Thank you for choosing me. The rest of us have split into two groups and start asking around. Asha, you stay here as well. Okay. I guess Asha just falls asleep because, you know, doesn't make an appearance during the... Oh, no, I guess he's still there. Never mind. Should have, it would make more sense. Sato, can we talk a little? Uh, sure, what about, about what? At first, I thought we were a, a lot alike. You have shouldered the burden Lady Canyon placed on you. That's why you're here. Well, I never really thought about it like that. I used to be the same way, living for others, others' expectations. My mom, my grandfather, my younger sisters. Hey, your grandfather still cares about you. He's like, he's like in the other room, probably drinking his, drinking himself a, a, a storm. I thought that was normal. I thought that was a good thing. But you are different. You believe in yourself. You trust in your conscience. Oh, nothing so noble. You are living as your conscience tells you to. I envy you. Kika, I'm nothing special to human. Uh, you're reading too much into it. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. You needn't worry about it. I gotta admit that Kika and, uh... Sanzo's storyline as uh, talk is a bit more natural, while Riora goes just... Well, she try. Well, it's because she's more conserved about it, so she doesn't outright, like, wanna... Just, she's trying to make a connection with Sanzo. Uh, but... Uh-oh, oh, do you prefer the wild? Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, like, she's more conserved about it, so, you know, she's probably one of those prim and proper types, so she didn't want to outright say anything like that, so she's trying to make a connection with... Sanzo to try and maybe, you know, like maybe to see if there's something there. Well, Riorin, she's she's like almost a Sidari type. Well, she does a she's like, so what kind of girls do you like? Not like the uh, I like you or anything, you know. It's ba it basically was like that, you know. So a little bit more. She's a little bit more straightforward without being very subtle about it. But anyway, so nothing too huge. But I thought I'd show you anyway. So let me blow it up after that with uh, Riorin's choice. But you know. If there's any super big differences, I might replay through the final areas of the game and see if there's any differences with that. I don't think there was a really big thing with that, if I remember correctly. It was just kind of like one of those sub little plot plots. You're like, ah, ha, ha, you know. Anyway, let's go to Puppet's Peak and see if the the man's wife makes a reappearance. I forgot her name because it's been forever since we fought him. We fought him in like the beginning of Chapter 2, I think it was. So, you know, forgive me for not remembering... I mean, I don't remember his name either. I only remember his rat man now that I know what double form he had. Puppet's Peak. Whoa. This looks a lot different. What is this place? It's a tree! A huge tree! Why is this huge tree in the middle of the road? This isn't a normal tree. I can feel something evil about it. There's sp there speaks a dryad. So, is this an enemy trap? Up oh, there she is. I knew it. Well, they had a pretty good feeling, too, so... You, you lowly worms. You shall pay for what you totally did to my husband. If you would have just left us alone, none of this would have happened. You shall all die. Your blood shall feed my tree. 
Well, I'm not surprised she's mad. I mean, we did kill her husband. I'm surprised we actually killed someone in this game, really. Usually they just disappear or something like that, you know. Or we knock them out, you know. Ooh, she's a spider. A spider! A million allegiance to spiders! How disgusting! I should come over here. He just shoves her off the tree. Ah! <laughs> Asha's fine. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta fight the spider lady. That's an interesting couple, a spider lady and a rat man. But that's only in their wear forms. It's not like they actually. Ooh. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna think about it any more than I have to. Alright, anyway. Okay, the mechanic of the trap is just. Really, it's just the. the... Like most places, it's just the. Uh... Um... Oh, what's the word? It's just the terrain is a little weird, so. I don't see any destructible environment, so I think I can skip that this time around. Ah, um, oh, they're using the normal music. They're not even using the, the devil fight music. Alright. Yeah, there's no destructible environment, so... Um, just go straight on to... Straight on to... Till dawn, you know? Alright. Um, let's put... Defeat Apsara. I think that's how you say it. Apsara. 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 Alright. Yeah, not enough movement, so. We can do that. Well, we'll uh, beef up uh, Riorin's attack power. His water pure ability raises their uh, someone's offense as well as healing them, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Ah. Not close enough for anything. No, oh, that was a bust. Oh, I'm also steel skin her too while we're at it. Ooh, okay, the level, nice. Yeah, we're not really getting a whole lot of levels from these dudes because we're we're pretty high up as it is. Yeah, at least at least Goku's uh, fast or far enough to, to hit the. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yep, almost two. It almost takes them two hits to do that. Seeking that far, but super charming. Eh, yeah, didn't think so. Not that it's uh, not that it's defend uh, important, really. Let's go ahead and summon Emperor. I don't see why not. Since I'm not going to be using a ton of magic in this fight, I don't think it's necessary. But it will be nice to have a, a small amount of uh, defense increase and uh, combat increase for the fight. It's pretty close. Can I rake him at least? Yeah, I can. Or if I had upgraded his weapon, he would have just been able to hit with a regular attack. Although, by doing that, that makes rake... Way, uh, useless, I've just noticed. Like, it might be a bit more powerful because it costs MP, but upgrading Hikai's Rake would have made Rake a pointless attack. In that case. It would have made his weapon more powerful, to be sure, but... I also realized something about Kika's uh, weapon. I was just messing on screen to see how effective certain items were if they were upgraded. Ah! She's climbing up invisible spider webs to get closer. That's not creepy at all. Although, she does have the uh, hypnotic. Uh... Oh, no, actually, no, it's not as hypnotic as Scorpius. Never mind. I take it back. Anyway, uh, I was messing with uh, everyone's weapons to see how effective they really are in combat. And Kika's are is actually a little bit more effective than I realized. I forgot to notice that her that it says on her bow her area increases by one. 
so when she hits a target, it becomes a cross-shaped pattern. So she can actually hit five people with her with her bow, uh, if in the if they are in the right spot. That's actually pretty crazy. Like she'll never do as much damage as Goku does, but being able to hit five people with one with one arrow shot, the, the same range as a spell, and it's range. That's crazy. Now it gives you even more reason to uh, to choose Kika as, as your um, as the choice for your uh, weapon upgrade. I'm still keeping with Goku, but it definitely makes hers a lot more effective. Like bow a bow range increases, turns to a cross shape pattern, and it increases her MP. So you know, just saying, just super saying. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, I thought that was connected, huh? Guess I didn't notice that. All right, no biggie. You know, I could just have Goku just like um, um, just fly all the way over there to her and uh, try to take her out as quickly as I could. I probably could do that actually. Yeah, he would get surrounded, but Goku has like pretty good armor. Now. Probably be able to take the hit. Yeah, whatever. No piggy. Everyone's gonna get there eventually, so. I have Reorn transform next turn and just fly over there, maybe. That way she can get there quicker, too. And I'll just have uh, Gojo finish the rest of those guys off. His water, his water pure spell, or er, water icicle spell, or whatever it's called, is pretty good. It's the one where it has a, uh, it's the range is, it comes out from him, but it has the ability to paralyze, which I've noticed has been very effective in this game. There's another spell it could be using right now called a stone blood that basically gives people the stone, uh, stone um, status, which we haven't seen since like. Uh, that one guy turned uh, Goku to stone in like the beginning of chapter two. Like no one used the stone uh, status effect at all. It's almost like a worthless status because like no one uses it. So buy those D stone potions. You only need to buy like a couple for that fight alone. Oh, looks like the Aspera was using Spider Kiss. So summon a little spider, come down and give a little kiss. Yeah, next time you're on the internet, Google a picture of a spider. And then imagine that thing kissing you. Yeah, I think I just gave you nightmares. Anyway. Uh, so. See? That spell's actually more scar uh, scarier now that we think about it. Yeah, see, I told you. I figured I'd uh, take care of it. I was kind of wondering why he was that uh, thing hit there, but he could probably just jump off to that point, so that makes sense. Alright, let's transform her... Have her just uh, fly towards it. Actually, it'd be a good chance to use her. Uh, um, oh, is he? Ah, angles, geometry. All right, so I can't do anything about that. So I'm just gonna. I could have uh, infernoed them. Nah, whatever. No biggie. I do not mind. has the float ability, you don't need to worry about uh, that. So, yeah, it looks like because of my power level, these fights might start going a lot more smoother and faster, especially when it's a level where either it's really short, or I don't have to mess with destructing the environment, so I don't have to, like, take forever, like, crossing the other side of the map just to go, hey, is there a treasure chest in here? Oh, there's nothing in there? Good! I was hoping for that, you know, stuff like that. Alright. Cannot... Nope, can't handle it with that, so let's just smack him up. Boom! Right to the face! That's actually not very pleasant when you actually think about the real life case of someone hitting someone with a rake. If the, even if, especially if they sharpen the rake. Ooh. 
Yeah, you didn't heal him for very much, so I'm not really that annoyed. Now oh, that's a little bit more annoying, I'll admit. But you wasted your turn healing and not doing damage to me. That'll be your downfall, Sunny. Oh, by the way, if you ca cast enchantments on a person uh, and they wear change, it, it nullifies them, by the way, if you didn't know that. I'll just have it chase me since it jumped up already, so no, it has to. All right, let's see. I haven't used Reorn's Electric Breath. Let's see what the range is on that. Looks like yeah, it's not gonna be. So I could either use on. Okay, let's do that. Electric Breath. Go Reorn. Go Dragon Princess. Go go. Sounds like that should be a Super Sentai song or something like that. Or uh, like a pr Magical Princess Girl anime. Go, 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 Magical Reorin. Use your electric breath. I I'm not very good at music, so. And anime jingles, so don't. You know. That was cool. I mean, it didn't do as much damage as Goku's Inferno, but. Actually, I didn't check up Sara's, like, portrait. Yeah. Oh yeah, she could basically teleport across the map with her, uh... Alright, uh... Oh good, I... Can't do anything about that. Alright. That's just Inferno, though. Go, baby, go! Disco Inferno! Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! Kika... Can't really do much in your position. At least he's weak to earth. Or, uh, yeah, wood. I mean. Who dare? Who'd be weak to wood? That guy couldn't be a hippie, that's for sure. Alright. Um, could that spell work there? Is it angled just enough to where it can't hit both of them? That can't be right. Let's try that again. There we go. That would be extremely dumb if it couldn't. Good job, Sanzo. You're actually picking up your weight for once. Like, by actually killing things. No, you're, you, like I said, you're probably one of the most useful companions ever. Funny how I say companions when he's actually the main character. Uh, sorry for the on the air there. I mean, weird sleep patterns lately. Anyway. Let's, uh. I don't know what the chef's. No. Strong against that. Uh, let's ca cast Shake Shield now. He at least gives him some magic resistance against her, her spidery abilities. She's not using all her spider attacks. I'd like to see what... Because, you know, we don't see the bosses again after that, so we miss out on certain animations if they don't cast certain spells. I know they don't have as many as us, but... Ah, here we go. Well, I know it'll suck, but... Well, it's probably not that badly, but, you know. Ooh, she's shaking her abdomen at us. Gross! Dark net! Probably has the a chance of paralysis or something. Yep. Looks like it only worked on the Hakai. Luckily, uh, Kika or Sanzo have life, so they can, uh... Are you running away, dude? Alright. Well, Gojo doesn't have to participate in the actual boss fight, I guess. Well, we'll see you eventually, Gojo. Alright. Alright. Just dragon fighter. Uh, let's see, we did that. Let's see what uh, Slash Dive... Oh, I've started Slash Dive, haven't I? Alright, well, I'll show the next one down if... Uh, she hasn't died yet. I hit her from here with that attack. Yeah. Wait. I mean, not that he doesn't have three range, it's just, does he have, does the geography accept the fact that he can do such a thing? Ah, oh, come on! Alright. So, 
just shoot her with an arrow. Let's just be regular people, I guess. I shouldn't do this, but let's go ahead and cast Ultra Life on uh, on him so he can get cured. Man, the animation's a lot faster than Group Heal. Group Heal still has to go through the whole uh, animation of casting, but if you use Ultra Life, it just it just heals them, and that's it. That's awesome. Faster fight for me. All right. So uh, Gosha just wail on her. You don't want none of this big guy. I'm gonna wail on you, Spider Lady. Don't, don't touch me with your creepy legs. Ew. Anyway. Ah, oh, she moved off. Uh, resin. Resin fragging rabbit. Anyway. And at least Reorn can fly. There's that. Do I have enough? Now let's see what wind scales do. I haven't used that one yet. Wind scales. Weigh down the strength of your abilities. Ooh, pretty. It's like a bunch of rose petals attacking her or something. Wouldn't that be more of a Kika attack than a Riorn attack? Oh, she's dead. Alright. Sweet. This wasn't supposed to happen! How could I have lost to such worms? <laughs> the time will come when you will all be destroyed. You will be fine, but you will die. <laughs> I didn't know what kind of voice to give her in her spider form, but... Well, I feel sorry for killing them, but uh, they left us no choice. Sorry, but now you're with your husband in wherever uh, uh, Hindu or Buddhism... Believe. Actually, isn't it? Buddhism isn't that reincarnation? No? Sorry, it's been a while since I've studied that in sociology class. Yeah, where is it? Or do they both have something similar to that? Well, perhaps you'll be reincarnated together. We're just gonna go with that for now. Ha! She's just talking! No, I don't think so. What do you mean? They aren't devils. In other words, eternal. They exist beyond life and death. You mean she really isn't dead? Still, with those wounds, they should take quite a while to recover. True, Maharaga hasn't showed up for a while, has he? We should be fine, at least until we reach Thunder Temple. No point worrying about it. Now let's get away from this creepy tree. Yeah, it doesn't feel like the evil of this tree is getting any weaker. Yeah, Thunder Temple should be fairly close. All right, with the uh, with puppets puppets peak complete and the defeating of Apsara, we are one step closer to finally getting to Thunder Temple and, and giving this staff over to whoever whoever it may, however we can save the world and whatnot. But what lies in Ken Kenoi Kenoi? Can I always... Well, what what comes up in that place next time on Sayuki Journey West? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.